Oh my gosh. It has been a long time since I've been here with you guys. And I am excited to finally be here. I just want to say thank you for tuning into my channel again. And let me just start off by saying this. I, I just hope you guys are, tr are staying in a positive mind frame. You know, doing this whole thing. Like, I know it can be scary. It can be a little frightening and everything and have you a little paranoid. But I just really, really hope you guys do not allow fear to paralyze you and that you keep living. You know, you can use this. I just want you to see, like, the positive. Like, try to keep a positive perspective during this whole thing. Like, what can I be doing during this time? Like, the people that are stuck at home. Like, what can I, what can I really be doing? you know, during this time, you know, maybe there's a project you wanted to complete it, a book you wanted to read, or like me, I need to read more of my Bible. I need to spend more time with God, you know? So if you're a super, super, super busy person, use this time to really, really like sit back, take a breath, refocus, recalibrate, reorganize, like whatever you have to do, like use this for a positive moment. Like just see the positive in this, you know? That's what I'm really, really just hoping like we all can do. I mean, there's things that I want to do like right now that I've been waiting to do and the opportunity has presented itself to me, but I have to take a step back and be like, you know what? It would not be wise to go forth with this. And it's a little annoying, but I'm like, I'd rather do things in a realm of like wisdom. Like I'd rather use wisdom and just not be so gun ho or do things hastily. You know what I mean? And not knowing, you know, what's really going to happen. So like I said, don't operate in fear and find a positive perspective every day. Like think of a way that, you know what, this going to work out for my good. This can work out for my good right here because God is sovereign. So it's just like stay focused on whatever it is that you need to stay focused on, but also use this time to reflect, you know. Maybe you home by yourself. Maybe you don't have a family that you live with and everything. Maybe you're home by yourself. Use this time for you to get back connected to you and laugh. That's one of my favorite things to do is laugh. Like, I love to laugh. So, and it's not to disregard the whole thing that's going on, but I just, I'm not going to stay in a place like to let fear grip me of my peace, my humor, and it just paralyzed me and have me so paranoid, like, I just think it would be an awesome time to like just find the positive and stay focused and you know, that's all. So I'm not that deep of a person. I don't be giving out advice and all that stuff like that. I do, but <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just, I know how it can be. I just, you know, wanted to bring a little light. Like just please stay positive as you're moving. It's all I want to say. So from the looks of it, you can see we are still in the rattan family this month for the month of march we're doing rattan and wicker furniture so i'm going to do something a little bit different i want to give five facts about rattan furniture because i had questions myself i'm like wait what is this rattan furniture where it come from you know things like that so i want to take this time to answer my own questions but i'm going to share it with you guys in case you were wondering the same thing or maybe you know you know, but I'm going to share the question. So I have it written on a paper, so I'm going to be reading. I don't have it memorized. I don't have cue cards. <laughs> so I'm just going to take this time to like read the question and answer it. So anyway, rattan. What's the difference between rattan and wicker furniture? This y'all, I really, 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 really did not know. And I'm like, how did I not know this? But... <laughs> So rattan is the actual material that you use, right? Wicker is the style of weave. So I thought, maybe you thought, but I thought, maybe you didn't thought, but I thought. <laughs> I thought that rattan was a certain type of material and then wicker was a whole nother type of material. Nope, not at all. Wicker is the style of weave. Mind blown, did not know at all. Glad I looked that up. Okay, so where does it come from? Like, where can it be found? It can be found in Asia, it can be found in Africa, and it can be found in Australia. So how does it grow? I'm like, is this like a bamboo tree? Like, does it grow like bamboo? But it does not grow like bamboo. It is an actual, like, a stem. So the stem grows from, like, the forest ground, 
and it grows upward. And as it's growing upward, it's wrapping itself around a tree, like vines. You know how you can see like vines wrap themselves around trees? So that's what the rattan does. It wraps itself around a tree as it grow. And as it sit there for years and it ages and it gets older, then the rattan farmers will come and harvest it. So that's how it grows and that's how they get it. So very cool fact, did not know. I thought it grew like a tree, like um, bamboo, but it doesn't. So let's see, number four, is rattan a wood? It is a wood vine. Yeah, it's a wood vine that has a solid core and you can actually paint rattan um, furniture and you can stain it and it holds, you know? So that's really good and has a really, really nice finish to it. So it's just, it holds the stain and the paint just like any other regular wood, but this is considered a wood vine. So how durable is rattan? Like this is something that I wanted to know because you guys, when I was going in the stores and I was seeing like rattan chairs and everything, I'm like, oh, I want to sit on that. But I was like, I don't know how things going to go. And y'all know I be going in these high end stores. I'm like, this chair fall apart. I can't pay for this chair. So, you know, I would like really weigh my options <laughs> before I sit down in the chair. So anyway, actually I found out by doing my research is that rattan is actually considered one of the strongest materials. That give me a little more confident. You see, it's just that when you sit down, like I'm sitting in a rattan chair right now, but it's like when you sit in a rattan chair, it snap, crackle, and pop. You know what I mean? <laughs> like Rice Krispies. So you think it's about to go down, but it's actually considered one of the strongest materials. It has an outer, the outer um, part of the rattan furniture is very durable and it's hard. The inner core is very soft, but it's flexible. It doesn't break and it doesn't split. And that's how you can actually use it for furniture and baskets and other decorative things. You can bend it. Like the chair that I'm sitting in now, like um, it has like the core, like the poles, like the um, retiring poles. I'll show you guys another time, but not today. But um, it actually has pieces that are very flexible. Like it's tying the pieces together, bending. And when you look at baskets and they're weave, like they're weave from um, rattan um, material, most of them, you know, or some of them, let me say. So it's actually one of the strongest materials and it's pretty durable. That eases my mind. <laughs> but, you know, it's kind of embarrassing. You go in the stores and you sit down and it's like making all this noise. And I'm like, okay, let me get up because this is just too much. But, yeah, so it's actually pretty durable and you don't have to be afraid to sit in it. Okay, so this particular video, which is so ironic because I'm talking about chairs and stuff, it's about chairs. There are some absolute gorgeous rattan chairs out there, guys. Oh, my gosh, like awesome like they would just make an awesome just like a centerpiece of the room like just to sit there it's just really nice so um i've seen some different color ones too so i'm so happy guys to show share these um chairs with you guys and to find out what you think please don't forget to let me know what you think in the comments and everything but just watch to the end make sure you watch to the end and let me know what you think and I will be at the end waiting for you, as usual. <laughs> but y'all stay tuned, and thank you so much for tuning in again. What a way to start the show. Look at this beautiful peacock easy chair in cobalt blue. I love that it has a modern twist to the traditional peacock wicker chairs. It looks like a fancy regal bird. I wouldn't even want to sit in this chair. I would let it be the focal point of the room and I would design my area around this. Love this chair, very elegant. Up next, we have this resort style rattan chair with bamboo strips and her name is Malawi. <laughs> if you guys notice, I am not including the prices on these pieces. I just want to add, I just want us to admire them for what they are and not focus on the prices, but the links will be in the description box. Love this chair, beautiful. And here we have Noli or Noeli. I don't know. <laughs> this is a cute and comfy rattan lounge chair. It is made up of Mindy wood and rattan, and it also has a tufted cushion. And this particular chair is for indoor use only. Most rattan chairs can go indoor, outdoor, but this one is indoor only. 
And here go Miko. I love the name of these chairs, guys. I love this chair. So cute. It has more of a minimalist vibe to it, but I love it. Miko is made up of a rattan frame, and she has a tubular metal base. Very cute. I love this chair. I feel like rattan chairs or furniture in general has come a long way, and I'm loving every bit of it. So let me introduce you to Plumage. Plumage is not your typical rattan color, but I wanted you guys to see the depth of rattan and the different shades that come in, you will see. But this is a bird inspired motif print, like a lush garden. Um, it's a bit on the dark side, but I love it. I think it's very sleek and unique. I love this chair. Sophia, Sophia, so fine. <laughs> I thought this chair was very cute. This is a stackable, breezy back, sculptured seat, rattan chair, and a monochromatic mustard color. I thought this was very sleek, very modern, and I think it would give your room like the, the, um, the appropriate pop of color that you need to bring the room together. Avo set, beautiful rattan. I'm telling y'all, they have stepped their game up. The amount, and these are just a little bit of chairs, like the amount that I've seen, it was hard to make decisions on which ones to show you guys. This is a beautiful rattan fan back accent chair. Love it. And it is at Target. But like I said, the links will be below in the description. This chair is so cute. Gianni has more of a mature approach, okay? If you're the type of person you don't really get with the modern swanky type of chair, then this is for you. More traditional brown and white cushion armchair. She's made of rattan and rawhide, and she has ebony and mahogany legs. Love this chair. M reminds me of like a safari like type of setting or something. I love this chair, guys. Melody knows she cute, and she out here showing off. <laughs> Melody is a rattan chair with a looping structure that wraps around from arm to back. Love this chair. Love everything about it. It has a minimalist vibe to it, but she cute though. She's a cute minimalist. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Chevron Riviera. You guys know that I don't typically like Chevron print, but I will make an exception for this beauty. This is a Parisian bistro chair, reinvented. The seats are woven from lightweight and plastic, which makes them family friendly. You can use this chair in the kitchen or the patio. They are. This chair is handcrafted. Each piece is bent and shaped to perfection. And I love it and I so appreciate it. I love it. Sunrise. I'm telling you guys, I love the name of this furniture or these chairs. I think they're so appropriate. Can't you look at this chair and see why they named it Sunrise? Like, it's just a ray. Like, I just love it. Anyway, so Sunrise is a rattan chair. I'm sorry, a luxury rattan chair. And she's powdered, coated, like a corally peach type of color. She has iron legs, and she comes in a couple of other funky colors too as well. That's why I chose it, because I want you guys to see the diversity of the rattan. Love this chair. I think it's so cute. Edgewater has a beautiful 1930s inspired design. The lines on this chair were gracefully handcrafted. It reminds me of like a beach style. It represents a timeless quality and warmth. This chair is nice. I love it. So we have another peacock on the scene. These peacock chairs are my favorite and I love them. This particular peacock chair is woven from natural rattan. It has more of a 60s and 70s style to it. It's more like throne like. Can't you just see yourself sitting there with a crown on your head? And it's also great for photo shoots. I love the print and I love the details. Gorgeous chair. If you are looking to bring a touch of elegance to your breakfast counter, then Avalon is your girl. <laughs> she is a swivel counter stool. She's hand. She's made up of hand-woven rattan, and she has a slight lean for your comfort. 
I would I would like to have this stool. Actually, guys, this is the only stool that I got that I'm on going to show you guys. Here we have Ambrose Banquet. Beautiful bench. It looks like it's like a poppy Kelly green, but the color is considered parsley. That's what it's called anyway. This bench is great for a beach house or if you just want to bring a beach vibe into your home because there's no rules. You can style your home the way you want to. The beautiful thing about this company that sells this bench, you can leave the bench white or you can choose a fun print and they will customize the cushion for you at an additional cost. Again, the link will be in the bio. I love this bench. It's so cute. So do you guys remember the Chevron Riviera chair? Okay, so this is the Riviera Banquet bench. It's made the same way. It's a Parisia Bistro bench, reinvented. The seats are woven from lightweight and plastic, so it can be family friendly. It can go in the kitchen or the patio. And each nook and cranny is handcrafted, bent and shaped to perfection for your enjoyment. <laughs> I have one more bench that's from this line too that you guys are gonna love. Great bench, I love it. How appropriate is the name of this bench? It's Shore. Are you sure? <laughs> I think this bench is great for an entryway or a sun porch. It has a nice lightweight breezy look and you can go crazy with pillows on this bench. I like that it's light and airy and it will fit in any space. Love this bench. By now you guys can probably tell that I love this whole Parisian bistro look. Like I didn't chose three items from the line and there are more. They have some great stools as well guys. So I don't think I need to go through the details with you guys. But I will just say that it's handcrafted, bent and shaped to perfection for your enjoyment. <laughs> I just love the print, guys. I think it's a gorgeous print. I love the prints, and navy blue is one of my favorite colors, so that probably helped influence. But I think this is a great line of chairs and benches and stools. Check them out. Make sure you hit them links in the description box. Okay, so what I'm not going to do is embarrass myself by trying to say that name. You guys see it. You can figure it out. <laughs> Y'all, your girl, I'm, I'm just going to say I'm going to give myself a pat on the back. I'll be picking out some cute stuff. This bench, guys, look at it. I'll be picking out some cute stuff. But let me go on. This bench is the ultimate conversation starter. There is no way that two complete strangers at a gathering can sit here and not talk to one another. It's bold and it stands out, but... There is still a level of intimacy it brings to the room as well. It has a traditional Victorian silhouette. It's made of an airy rattan. It has comfy cushions. You better hope people will leave the gathering. They could get very comfortable and stay a while. <laughs> this is a gorgeous bench and I love it. It's just called a rattan bench, which I don't understand because it definitely needed like a cute name okay look at this bench it is cute very different okay so this bench is a one-of-a-kind day bench it's very stylish laid back with a modern twist but it's quite dramatic but i think it's awesome for relaxed living i love 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 it guys i love it love it one of my favorite pieces not the favorite but one of the favorite i told you i'd be coming through Picking out, y'all need to go ahead and get me to help pick out y'all stuff. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed those chairs just as much as I have enjoyed them. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, guys. Like, come on. Y'all not letting me know nothing. Let me know if you are liking these products in the comments. So, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be well informed when a new one is coming. I just wanted to check myself out. Y'all see that? Anyway, so make sure you do that. Um, make sure you comment. What else I want to say? Um, 
I love you guys. I love you. And I will see you next week. And don't forget to click these links. I don't know what side it's going to be on, but don't forget to click these links to look at some other videos of mine. If you have not already, during this time of the coronavirus, you could binge watch my videos and let me know in those comments. See you later.